Hi, it's Julian Deck Guy Mike here with a vertical video, because why not? Let's go into this Goodwill and I'll share with you what I'm thinking when thrifting. The first item catches my eye because it's obviously vintage and babies in bathtubs are just irresistible. Look at that rubber ducky. I put it down because I don't recognize the sticker, uh, but I regret this. Another vintage item. This time a handcrafted doll catches my eye because of the quality and the amount of details. The vintage tag marked $48 gives me a clue that I may have found something special. The tag says Aunt B Storyteller. It's a colonial doll, a Pine Baroness by E.L. Krauss, made in Pennsylvania, USA. Looks like this is valued between $35 and $45. I love these stoneware birds and owls, but $7.99 is more than I want to pay. Sometimes I look at tags more than once just to be sure that that's really the price. That guy Mike fetches a Harry Potter snitch. Good catch Mike, he's so proud, but he ended up putting this $8 item back. I find tiny hedgehogs on a wooden base. I felt like they may have gone with the colonial dolls, so I grabbed them for 99 cents. I like the beveled glass on this ornament. It made me laugh that the cat is labeled nice and the dog naughty. Cats win here. I pay $1.99 happily for this cute vintage ornament. It had an old $8.50 price tag, but I think its current value is probably $10 to $12. I actually ended up finding a second one. Now Dakai Mike finds a pretty brown glass ombre penguin. But again, he shies away from the $7 price tag. Here I find and rescue a lonely single shaker. I'm checking that it is Port Marion. I'm definitely willing to pay $3 for it. It will make a beautiful addition to my hat pin projects and I have an idea to cover that pea because it confuses me whether it's for port, plums, or pepper. Just kidding. Here's another rescue in process. These guys almost went to the land of no return between the front and back shelves. Poor guys can no longer keep their heads up. We often resist grabbing a cart in hopes to just grab a thing or two, but 9 out of 10 times we end up getting a cart. I just found another Pine Baroness. Her little basket is adorable. She's $2.99. And another one for $2.99. Uh, excuse me, Dorothy, but I believe there's a fourth Pine Baroness back here. She's $2.99. They seem to be all different sizes. It looks like a mother with her three daughters, and we may have some real value here, as a lot. 90 to $115. Oh, and the hedgehog. Add another $5 for that for sure. This doll reminds me if a Will Tree doll went from colorless to living color, like somewhere over the rainbow. This brand is another weakness for me. This is a natural life vase, probably worth about $12 to $14. I've sold every natural life item I've ever picked up and this is a fair price, especially because this is the half price color of the day. Speaking of natural life, that guy Mike is back with his find. This is for all his fellow thrift aisle crop dusters, as he calls them. He picks up this sign and I'm sure he'll make an appearance in our next live sale. I have nothing else to say. There he goes. I love this cute wool house. Wool crafting is really popular right now. I didn't end up picking this up and there were several in the store, but they were cute. This is a sweet Beatrix Potter set. It comes with the Tale of Peter Rabbit book and a Peter Rabbit plush. $4.99, but it gets even better because toys are 50% off today. Great grab for $2.50 and probably worth about $15 to $18. This shell wreath is actually beautiful. It has real shells and was intricately put together. 
My first thought is to deconstruct it for parts, but I haven't decided. Then it happened. Is this my find of the day, of the week, of the month? Is this a Bower Pottery Cat? She is a gorgeous blue-green pottery Siamese cat for $9.99. I'm confused why there are no markings, so I will need to do some research. If authentic, she may be worth over $100. Please subscribe to follow us. We would love to have you join us. Thanks for getting in my head with me today. For fun, here's the most vintage picture I could find of us. 26 years ago. Sigh. Thanks for watching. See you next time.